Welcome to this demonstration of NetSuite's solution for apparel, footwear, and accessories brands. Our solution for your industry has been built upon the experience we've gained while implementing and supporting hundreds of apparel, footwear, and accessories brands, retailers, and wholesalers over the past decade. This experience has produced a collection of leading practices that helps organizations like yours to automate their business processes related to supply chain management. With NetSuite, you'll gain richer visibility into your operational processes, enabling you to achieve your strategic goals and ultimately growing your business. In this demonstration, I'll walk you through NetSuite's supply chain management leading practices so you can see firsthand how our solution can increase efficiencies, streamline your operations, provide better understanding of your bottom line cost, and most importantly, have the right merchandise in the right place at the right time. At NetSuite, the most common challenges we hear as we talk to many companies in the apparel, footwear, and accessories industry are related to inventory inaccuracies and all of the downstream issues that this can cause. Recently, companies have been faced with the challenge of merging data from disparate systems that were implemented over the years to solve pointed issues. Examples of these disparate systems could include spreadsheets, financial systems, procurement systems, order management, inventory management, warehouse management, and more. We call this the hairball effect, where all of these disparate systems make it difficult, if not nearly impossible, to get a clear picture of your inventory-related data, like merchandise or category profitability, or what the true cost of goods sold is that directly affects your bottom line. Additionally, these disparate systems will inevitably lead to inaccurate inventory positioning whether that's inventory on hand or incoming, and that creates difficulty downstream for merchandise managers to buy and allocate inventory appropriately. And we know that if your inventory is not in the right location at the right time, that's a lost sale. It's money being left on the table and a poor customer experience. NetSuite can help you tackle these challenges by providing a single cloud-based solution to monitor all areas of your business in real time, anywhere, using anything, and at any time. From an item management perspective, NetSuite will provide a single source of truth for all aspects of your organization. Our built-in item management functionality enables automation and visibility across the value chain, including reorder point planning, automated general ledger posting with unlimited custom segments, inventory positioning, transactional history capture, and more. NetSuite inventory management will also allow you to manage inventory adjustments, receipts, returns, and cycle counts, and to see the current value in inventory positions by location across all locations. Additionally, NetSuite offers features to drive replenishment at various locations, including the ability to set up reorder point planning using vendor lead times and safety stock levels. Then transfer orders move inventory to replenish store locations or within a warehouse from safety stock. Inbound container management also provides visibility into inbound merchandise and shipped purchase orders, so you can plan for the allocation of that inventory. On top of NetSuite's inventory management capabilities, the system is smart enough to proactively remind your procurement team to approve and execute against automated purchase order suggestions based on your item management settings. After the POs are approved and submitted to your vendors, NetSuite will automatically link your purchase orders with all subsequent item receipts, vendor bills, and accounts payable data. This data also posts to your general ledger in real time, and the entire process is managed within one unified system, reducing manual processes and data error entries. With NetSuite, you'll always know that your true inventory and cash position are. Lastly, from an accounts payables perspective, the unification of this supply chain and financial processes prevents data duplications across purchase orders, item receipts, and vendor bills to ensure that your company doesn't incur the same cost multiple times. 
NetSuite also provides built-in capabilities to isolate any inaccuracies and easily backtrack to any resulting overpayments. Now that we've discussed how NetSuite can automate your supply chain and merchandising processes, let's see what that looks like in real time with a product demonstration. To demonstrate NetSuite's merchandising and supply chain management capabilities, I'll start by logging into my NetSuite Suite Success account, where I'll have access to a merchandising role that's tailored to meet the needs and responsibilities of a merchandising manager. Now before I log in, you'll notice that I'm accessing NetSuite from a Chrome browser. NetSuite is 100% cloud-based and it's browser agnostic. So that means as long as you can access the internet or a wireless network connection, you'll be able to access your NetSuite. We also offer iOS and Android applications as well as an Apple Watch application for streamlined mobile access. Additionally, NetSuite is 128-bit SSL encrypted. That is the same level of um, encryption that online banking and financial institutions are held to. Um, so you can rest assured that both your business's data and your customer's information is safe and secure within NetSuite. Now that I'm logged in, I have immediate access to a merchandising dashboard that displays real-time insight into key metrics, alerts, and BI. For example, I can monitor real-time key performance indicators from this key performance indicators portlet that's been set up front and center within my home role-based dashboard. So I can monitor metrics like inventory valuation, compare it uh, to from today to the same day last month, or I can monitor the value of late purchase orders as well, right from my dashboard. Also from my dashboard, I'm able to drill down into any of these metrics. For example, the value of late purchase orders and access the underlying reporting. So from this report view, I can see all of the vendors that have late purchase orders currently, and I can zoom in to get a detailed view of one of the vendors and actually navigate into a source transaction, in this case, which happens to be a purchase order. Now that I can view the purchase order, I can research into what's going on. Perhaps the vendor has communicated to us that this purchase order is going to be late. We would capture that communication here. In this case, that's not the case. So now we can go ahead, research, reach out to the vendor, um, update when we're actually going to be receiving this purchase order, and get the goods into our warehouse as soon as possible. In addition to the metrics and KPIs that are displayed on my dashboard, I also have easy access to over 200 pre-configured reports. So I can access reporting around financials, purchases, vendors and payable information, and of course, inventory and items. So examples of these reports include inventory profitability report, an inventory turnover report, and a stock ledger report. This stock ledger report, for example, gives you a complete view into the life cycle of your product across all locations and all channels over a given period of time. NetSuite will also alert me to when there are action items that I need to take care of. So items like approving plan transfer orders, following up on late purchase orders, or actually ordering items. When I click into this items to order reminder here, I'll have the ability to generate purchase orders for replenishment items in bulk based on established reorder points, vendor lead times, and safety stock levels. Right now, I'm looking at a view of all replenishment items across all locations, but we can also narrow this down to say just the 3PL warehouse, and we could further narrow down by vendor or style uh, this parent item as well. Now, in this particular reminder alert, NetSuite is actually uh, suggesting that I order 72 smartwatches. As the preferred stock level is 50 units, and there are currently 24 back ordered with two smartwatches on order. Now, the data that's driving this suggestion is contained within the NetSuite item record for a given style or SKU. So let's go ahead and take a look at the item record for smartwatch number one. 
I'm going to use NetSuite's global search to search for the item record. And we can navigate directly to it. Now, from the header level information on this item record, I'll be able to identify you know, information like the item name, number, style number, UPC code, things of that nature. I can also identify the class category and classification for this particular item. So this is a smartwatch that rolls up into the accessories class. And I can view additional attribution. In this example, we have season captured on the item record. Now scrolling down to the purchasing and inventory tab, I can view costing information as well as real-time inventory valuation. And with the appropriate permission settings assigned to my role, I can actually set inventory management preferences like you see here. Now the replenishment method for this particular item is set to reorder point. But NetSuite also supports time phase demand planning at the SKU level and provides the following demand planning methods. Using previous demand to project future inventory needs, assuming steady growth. Using a moving average of historical demand. Using a seasonal average based on seasonal trends of inventory flow. Or referencing a forward-looking B2B sales forecast to project inventory demand. The vendor bill matching preferences that are contained here can actually be set at the item, subsidiary, and vendor level to drive visibility into over under discrepancies between your purchase orders, item receipts, and vendor bills. This functionality triggers notifications in the form of reminders, email, and approval workflows so you can monitor merchandise receipts make sure that you're receiving the correct quantity and that they're all in good condition. Under our location subtab, you'll also see that the reorder point and preferred stock level for the 3PL warehouse location have been set here. So this is actually what's driving that reminder on the dashboard. And as we scroll over, we'll also have visibility into quantity on order quantity committed, available to sell, any quantity that's been back ordered or is in transit, as well as cycle counting information. And not only will we, we maintain visibility into this one location, we also have visibility into the inventory position um, across all locations across the entire organization. On our vendor subtab, we'll be able to set the preferred vendor or vendors for this particular item, and we can also maintain a direct link into the vendor record. So this vendor record is similar to the item record in the sense that it captures all information related to your vendors. You can even have a dashboard view of your vendors as well to really get that 360 degree view into all transactions, pending purchase orders, item receipts, discrepancies, and KPI metrics like accounts payable balance as well. And heading back to the inventory item record on our sales and pricing tab, we'll also be able to manage and set pricing across all channels and in multiple currencies as well. Now this particular item happens to be a standard inventory item with no child SKUs, but NetSuite also supports the setup and management of multi-dimensional matrix items, so parent-child SKUs. For example, this inventory item, this jacket, is available in several different sizes and colors. You can see all that information all right there. And additionally, NetSuite supports the management of assembly or bill of material items and matrix items. So you can keep track of raw fabric and material components, production service fees due, and component consumption within one unified ERP platform. We've reviewed item records within NetSuite. Let's revisit that item to order reminder and generate and submit a purchase order to a vendor. So I'm on our order items page here. This is the page we landed on when we clicked into the items to order reminder. 
and I'll go ahead and select all four of these items right here. They're all being purchased from the same vendor and they're being delivered to the same location. So once I click Submit, NetSuite will compile these four items into a purchase order that will be actually automatically emailed to the vendor. Now in this particular instance, I've set this purchase order to be automatically approved. You can see our approval status here has now updated to approved with the resulting purchase order and the status has been set to complete but this can be configured to match your approval workflow needs. And we'll drill down into this purchase order to review the information that's captured here. Now, the purchase order will contain um, SKU level details sourced from the respective item records, along with a communication log. So we can see the purchase order that was actually submitted and emailed out to the vendor when we created it from the reminder, as well as any related records as well that may be captured in the future. For example, item receipts and vendor bills that we're receiving, any approvals associated with this purchase order, et cetera, et cetera. Now, once this purchase order is received into the warehouse, warehouse staff will be able to pick and ship planned transfer orders to execute store replenishment. So to view this leg of the supply chain, let's go ahead and log into a warehouse manager role. Like the merchandising role, the warehouse manager role also has a pre-configured home dashboard to provide insight into KPIs, order and shipment metrics, and alerts like orders to receive and orders to fulfill. To view planned transfer orders to be fulfilled, I can click into our orders to fill reminder here. And narrow our transaction type down from sales orders to be fulfilled to transfer orders. And I just have one transfer order to be fulfilled here. So we can click in, review the transfer order information, print a pick list and fulfill this transfer order. Now NetSuite supports a full pick, pack and ship process. But I'll go ahead and mark this shift for our demonstration purposes today. And we can go ahead and save now that this transfer order has been shipped from the 3PL warehouse location to the store location, let's go ahead and switch to a CFO role to review the GL impact for this particular item fulfillment. Once in my CFO role, I'll use my global search again to navigate to the fulfillment record. And from here, we'll be able to view the real-time GL impact. Additionally, this item fulfillment record is directly linked to a transfer order. And again, we can see that source transaction, this transfer order that's being updated in real time and giving us complete visibility and traceability the clear inventory visibility you'll achieve across the enterprise with NetSuite Supply Chain Management Solution for apparel, footwear, and accessories brands will drive many proven benefits, including increased fulfillment rates, a decrease in overstock and stockouts, and the tools to better meet your customers' demands. Overall, this contributes to increased efficiencies, allowing you to keep your costs at a minimum, achieve higher margins, and improve cash flow. Thank you for joining this demonstration of NetSuite Supply Chain Management Leading Practices and Solution for Apparel, Footwear, and Accessories Brands.